Welcome back to Molson Canadian Leaf Nation pregame show. Yes, Toronto Maple Leafs, but those are the Raptors. And the Raptors were wearing their green warm-up T-shirts. Those are cool T-shirts. I think I might have to get myself one of them. And if you want to, all you got to do is team up green. We welcome Brian Leslie from the Air Canada Centre, of Director of Building Operations, as well as... Team Up Green. Team Up Green. And yeah. I want you to explain to us what Team Up Green is all about. Sure. Uh, our board of directors and senior management uh, gave us some lofty goals to try and change the way we do things in a building. So they set three major objecti objectives for us. One is to reduce utility consumption by 30%. Another is to reduce our carbon footprint by 30%. And the last one is to actually divert 100% of our waste from landfill within five years. Okay, so when I read those stats, I thought 100%. Yeah. That can't be right. Absolutely. We can actually do that? Within our first year, we've already diverted 42% of our waste from when we started. Now, back in the day, everything went one bin, right? So we've uh, brought in our tri so we're separating into three streams now. Yes. And all of our, we, we've actually collected 500 metric tons of our organics from our kitchens and stuff that we convert to, uh, that's waste stuff, that we convert to soil every year. Well, that's brilliant. And at the end of the day, you know, we want to convert everything. So the packaging that you see is plastic. By the end of our program, we'll be organic. Some kind of biodegradable, Absolutely. so it's not filling up the landfill. I did yep. notice in the media room, because we all come down for our media meal before the games, yep. the cutlery is Everything. biodegradable, the plates are biodegradable. It's yep. really something, and there's different receptacles. You should see some of the guys. I don't know Hovering? where I put I don't know where. I don't, I'm like, I know. I give, I give them the nudge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's have a look at the initiatives that are being put forth here as part of Team Up Green. Uh, Reduce concourse parking and garage light level. Is it as simple as just turning the lights down like Earth Hour? It is. It absolutely is. We've mimicked Earth Hour tonight. And if you're around, it's, it's actually 30% lower on all the concourses in the parking garage. And it's and it's really, really simple. It's something we're, we're trying to do things in a building here that people can take home. Yeah. Leave the room. How many people leave the lights on when they leave a room thinking, oh, you know I'm going to come do. back soon? I run around and turn those lights off now after Earth Hour. It makes For you sure. think. We went out on our street that night and looked at which houses were taking part, yeah. and the next day we kind of gave them a hard time if they had their lights <laughs> That's off. That's great. But, uh, you know, what else are we doing here around uh, around the Air Canada Centre that others might be able to take home? I and mean, we were talking about recycling all yeah. the packaging and whatnot, which is pretty much a gimme. We all have the recycle bins. Yeah. But is there, what else can we do? Well, we're looking at a, at a holistic, uh, with a holistic approach. We've brought in, uh, we're partnering with the David Suzuki Foundation. Brilliant. Absolutely. And we're also uh, measuring our carbon footprint. What that really means is everything that goes into making an event every single night has a measurable carbon footprint. Right. So we take that and we look at what makes that, and then we look at ways that we can chop that down. And that gets us to our 30% uh, carbon footprint reduction. Wow. So it's counterbalancing. You might have to use things that aren't exactly environmentally friendly, but if you're going to do that, make sure you do this over here yeah. to make up for it. We thank you for this, Brian. No and you know what? People at home are going to make a difference. And I just want uh, David Suzuki to know I got rid of the fridge in my basement that had just the beer in it. I really did. It was the great Canadian fridge roundup. I did it. Team Up Green, get involved. We're doing it here at the Air Canada Centre. We're back with more after this. Centering effort by Grabowski comes out in front of the shot. Mikhail Grabowski hits the 20 goal mark. That was last night in New Jersey. Tonight it is the Buffalo Sabres as the Leafs go back to back 7.30 game time nationally on TSN. Time for four items of note. Oh, sorry, before we get to that, let's talk about the Marlies. They are underway here in Toronto against the Rochester Americans. No score, but we will update you as the Marlies play out the final three games of their season. Very important games. So keep it here and be back post game for all of the news on the Toronto Marlies. Okay, now it's time for our four items of note that you need in order to truly enjoy tonight's hockey game. They are brought to you by Bridgestone, and Mark Morrow, you're up with number one. Number one indeed. We just saw it a moment ago. Joe Bowen with the call there. With Mikhail Grabowski scoring his 20th of the year last night, he became the fifth 20-goal scorer for the Leafs this season, joining Jason Blake, Alexei Ponikarovsky, Nick Antropov, who scored 21 in a Leaf uniform before he was traded, and Nicholas Hagman, who also has 20. The Leafs have not had five 20-goal scorers since the 2001-2002 season when they had five guys do it then as well. Matt Sundin leading the way with 41 that year. Tucker had 24. Alexander McGillney with 24 also. Gary Roberts and Ry Robert Reichel rounding out the five players. Our second item of note in this hockey game, Brad May. 
is the 21st player to wear a Maple Leafs jersey for his 1,000th game in the National Hockey League, and there's only five players who have played all of their 1,000 games as a Maple Leaf. George Armstrong, Tim Horton, Boris Salming, Dave Keon, and Ronnie Ellis. Tremendous accomplishment tonight for Brad May. Item of note number three. Well, when the trade deadline ended, many quietly wondered how this guy, Alexei Ponikrovsky, would adjust to no longer playing with his longtime teammate and linemate Nick Antropov. But he has been red hot since then as he has six goals and 21 points in the 16 games since the deadline. That outburst has led him to career highs in goals with 23, assists with 36, and you put those two together, it means a career high in points with 59. And our last item of note, the Buffalo Sabres have the third best power play in the National Hockey League on the road. 38 goals for in 39 games. The Maple Leafs penalty killers on home ice last in the National Hockey League. 42 against in 39 games. So the Maple Leafs got to be disciplined in this hockey game and make sure they don't sit in the penalty box because the Buffalo Sabres will likely make them pay. Obviously, the Buffalo Sabres need to win as they need to run the table and get a little help from other teams if they're going to make the playoffs. One guy who's got a little extra hop in his step tonight for sure is Dominic Moore as he returns to the team that he once called home. Dominic, a little earlier, spoke with our Andy Petrillo about the trade. Thank you. Well, Dom, you're no stranger to the world of trade, but when you came to Toronto, you were the first to say, this is where I really do feel like I'm at home. And then, of course, before getting trade, having a career year. So does it feel good, though, to be back here at the Arcana Centre tonight? Yeah, obviously, it, it's nice to be home. It's still home. It always will be home. Uh, you know, just uh, things play out the way they do, and sometimes you have no control. I don't want to ask if it was a shock because there was so much talk about trade deadline and coming up and your name was being thrown around, but was it still a bit of a numb feeling when it happened? Well, yeah, it, w it wasn't a surprise based on, you know, having been sent home the, the day before, but um, I knew it was just a matter of when. Uh, obviously, you know, negotiations going on, you, you hope for the best, but, um, you know, sometimes the, the perspectives are not able to be bridged. But here you are finding yourself with a team that mathematically still has a shot mm -hmm. at the playoffs, so the Leafs unfortunately out, but how does it feel to still be in that race? Well, it's been fun to be a part of a playoff race, and that was something that I, I really looked forward to. And, um, you know, we were on the outside looking in, though, right now, and uh, we have to do our part, which is win three games and, and then still hope for help. So um, tonight is uh, pretty much uh, do or die. Big game, and you know all about the rivalry between Leafs and uh, the Sabres, so good luck tonight. Thanks a lot. All right, Dominic Moore, thanks for taking the time. Let's go back up to the desk. Uh, fans are arriving. They're getting ready for the game tonight, cheering on the Toronto Maple Leafs as they take on the Buffalo Sabres. The guys have gathered here at Gate 1 to tell you something you don't know. Don't miss what's next on the Molson Canadian Leaf Nation pregame show presented by Tim Hortons. It's something we don't know right after this short break. Stick around.